Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome back to our YouTube channel once again. And it is my hope and prayer that this video, this particular video, is actually going to find you guys in good health. Personally, I am coping, but Kisumu is fantastic. Maybe you could also let me know where you are watching the video from, the county or the country in case you are out of the republic. And by the way, let me know where you are watching this particular video from right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I've always opined on this platform that in politics, nothing happens out of mere coincidence. And that everything in politics is normally well planned, well scripted, and executed to achieve a specific political objective. Nothing in politics just happens for the sake of it. Earlier today, two events took place in this country. And those two events, in my view, are significant, politically speaking. The first event was the burial ceremony of the late Field Marshal Mudoni. That burial ceremony was attended by Raila Odinga, William Ruto, Rigathi Gashagwa, Musalia Mdavadi, and probably the entire country were glued to their TVs watching that particular event. The second event also took place at Kasarani, the Kipkeino Classic. The event was attended by Raila Odinga, Musalia Mdavadi, and William Samoy Araputo. Let me remind you, those three were members of ODM Pentagon. But something was very clear, that a message was being sent to Kenyans during those two events. Let us get back let us go back a bit to the event in Nyandarwa during the burial of the late Field Marshal Mudoni. During that burial, Raila Odinga and William Ruto shook hands. Raila Odinga spoke at that event, Ruto spoke at that event, Rigedi Gashagwa spoke at that event. What did you notice in the speeches of those three gentlemen? Clearly, Rigadhi Gashagwa tried to attack Raila Amolo Odinga. But Raila Odinga's speech was articulate, on point, and he gave the history of the Republic of Kenya. William Ruto also tried to play to the gallery in Nyandarwa. Then Rigadhi Gashagwa was left in Nyandarwa. But of course, by the time he was left there, the photos of Raila Odinga and William Ruto shaking hands were already, were already online. Then, Raila, Ruto, Mudavadi headed straight to Kasarani. And this is why I always tell you that in politics, nothing happens out of mere coincidence. There is no way Raila Odinga, William Ruto would attend an event in uh, Nyandarwa and then at the same time, they also purpose to attend another event in Kasarani. If you follow the events in Kasarani and the photos which came out of that event, it was clear that the fact that Rigadhi Gashaga was out of the equation, you could see happiness in William Ruto's face. But I don't want to discuss the event in Kasarani per se, but I want to kind of combine it with the one in Nyandarwa, because the one in Nyandarwa is where the coded message was delivered. Before we do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click that subscribe button, so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. Without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. And by the way, I'm still so grateful for the support most of you guys offered to me when as a family we we were hit so hard today alone we transferred a patient to Eldoret another one will be transferred tomorrow for specialist treatment most of them have been discharged and now probably after tomorrow we'll start arranging for the funeral so it's been not easy and the good news is that most of you guys on this platform, especially those on the diaspora, asked me to come up with a cash app, which I'm going to pin on the comment, in the, on the first comment. 
the link which you can use to support it's going to one of my family members in the diaspora and the accounts will be will be shared and of course there is also the 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 gofundme which is an initiative of our friends also who are doing the fundraiser so i'm also going to share that so that for those who would want to support the family you can do that but now let us get to the main issue right now why is the event in uh, nyandarwa important number one rigadi gashagwa had actually planned to stop Raila Odinga from attending this event. Raila Odinga attended the event. So that's significant. Number two, Maila Njenga's house or home were raided. Was it yesterday? He accompanied Raila Odinga to this particular burial ceremony. The other important thing was the reception Raila Odinga received in the presence of these guys. When Raila Odinga was speaking, you could feel the crowd. When Rigadi Gashagwa was speaking, there was gloomy all over. And importantly, Raila Odinga went to this event as a one-man army. So when Ruto was attacking him, when Rigadi was attacking him, he was alone. He delivered a statement. But there was this element of the handshake. What was the significance of that particular handshake? If you want to understand the significance, please go and look for the photos which were taken later in Kasarani. You could see from those photos Raila Odinga, William Ruto, jovially talking. Ruto trying to reach out to Raila Odinga, hugging him in the absence of of so for me, what I can conclude is that number one, Raila and Ruto are actually sending a coded message to the country. That handshake is actually possible. Because one thing uh, Ruto and Raila Gashagwa made very clear was that they decampaigned the handshake. And therefore, Ruto and Raila shaking hands is something which should not happen. Remember, Uhuru just entered, just shook hands with Raila Odinga on the doors of Arabe House. And it became the famous handshake. Rigadi Gashagwa is not keen on that. If you followed the event in uh, Nyandarwa, when Ruto was shaking hands with Rigadi Gashagwa, with, uh, when Ruto was shaking hands with Raila Odinga, the face of Rigadi Gashagwa told it all. In fact, tomorrow, I'll do an analysis about Rigadi Gashagwa and also another one about Raila Odinga on what transpired today in Nyandarwa. So for me, a coded message was being sent to Kenyans in Nyandarwa. Once that message was sent there, then they cemented it. Palekasarini. Number two, I also tend to think that what Raila and Ruto did today was actually to set the pace for the bipartisan talks. You know, we have the bipartisan talks which are currently ongoing. And the success of that talks depends on Raila and Roto. Don't be cheated, nothing else. By these guys shaking hands, they were sending a message to their handlers. That if us, we can shake hands, we can go watch athletics together, we can laugh. Why don't you guys sit down and resolve these issues? The fact is, on Monday or maybe tomorrow, if the bipartisan team will be meeting, they'll be reading the news. I can predict that tomorrow's headlines in the news will be that photo of either Raila Odinga shaking hands with Ruto at uh, in Nyandarwa, or Raila Odinga, Ababu Namonda, Namomba, and Musale Mdavadi, the ODM key individuals, shaking hands in Kasarani. So for me, it's about setting the pace and the tempo. For example, if these guys were not sent, sending a coded message, I can assure you, these guys would have decided to make life very difficult for Raila Odinga in this particular event. So that's number two. Number three, and this is a message to Riga de Gashagwa. The better he listens to it, the better, the earlier he takes action, the better. 
Regarding the shagwa, you can be dumped anytime and there's nothing you can do. That is the message I'm picking from what happened. And I could tell it from your face, Regarding the shagwa, that you are a worried man. The tone of your speech was telling. The tone of your speech was actually telling. So, Ruto is telling Riyadi Gashagwa a very simple thing. That the options are wide. I can have you. Ukicheza, I can have Raila. Ukicheza, I can have this team. We worked with them together. There is no way Raila Udinga can attend this event. Then he sits just somewhere there. Ruto, Davadi, Ababu na Mwamba. Not a coincidence. Any event Ruto is attending, a space has to be created for Raila Odinga if Raila Odinga is attending. Who knew Raila Odinga was going to attend that event? Who shared with the status? Or was it just that Raila Odinga then came, then out of respect, he was allowed into the Kasarani, he sat there, you know, his seat was created. No, things don't work like that. These guys had the option of humiliating Raila Odinga and making him watch the ball from the other side of the stadium. So regarding Gashagwa, be wise. And lastly, I'm also trying to think that all these events are meant to allow Raila Odinga recognize William Ruto as the president of the Republic of Kenya. You could always tell from the speeches. When Raila Odinga was, speech, was speaking in um, Nyandarwa, he kind of talked of Rigadi Gashagwa failed to order flag to be flown half-mast. <laughs> so it means he's recognizing that the power to make that order belongs to Kenya Kwanza government. Because one of the issues on uh, Azimio and Kenya Kwanza negotiations team is the issue of recognizing Ruto as the president of the Republic of Kenya. That is one of the minimum demands by Kenya Kwanza. So if you ask me, Raila Odinga is strategically meeting that demand without Kenyans knowing. So that tomorrow you'll wake up and Raila Odinga will write a, a piece of paper or an opinion piece, an opinion on one of the papers on how Ruto can revive the economy. That alone will mean that he's recognizing Ruto as the president of the Republic of Kenya. I don't know what to think. That's my take. Thank you guys and please may you have a good day. Bye-bye.